You ready? You're gonna have a baby. Baby's coming. You're gonna stay here with mama, okay? We'll call you, okay? We love you. I love you too. Okay, guys, so it is 3.26 in the morning and my water just broke. It's July 26th. 26th and my water broke. <laughs> <laughs> It's like still gushing out. Oh my god. Ow. I just, we were sleeping and I turned in the bed and I felt the water gush out of me. And I literally don't have everything ready, like our hospital bags or anything. So we're kind of rushing and I'm a little nervous. I wasn't expecting to have a baby this early, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for your baby? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to leave. We didn't even have our car seat installed yet. <laughs> no, I just it, I'm like there. three weeks early. Okay, it's 4.08 a.m. It's so dark, but we're on our way to the hospital now. We should be there within 10 minutes and then we'll update you guys depending on what they tell us. Okay, we just got to the hospital because it's after hours, we're pulling in through emergency side. But, oh, we're having a baby. Hmm. We get to find out if we're having a boy or a girl. Maybe this afternoon. My labor with an ice was 12 hours, so. We'll see how long this one is, but I'm getting a little bit of contractions, but nothing too crazy. I almost feel like it's because I'm nervous, but let's check in. Okay, we're in here. I'm going to change into a gown and leave them a urine sample. Ready for baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're in the hospital now. This is, I think this is the delivery room. They're gonna get me all hooked up to the monitors. Okay, so they just um, did the swab to make sure that my water broke. Ew, I'm all like oily. And then they're gonna come back to check my cervix. Okay, it's 4.53 and I am at three centimeters. So I'm staying, we're having a baby. Ready? Baby day, birthday. <laughs> Size. <laughs> boy or girl? What do you guys think? It's gonna be a boy or girl. <laughs> <laughs> Your socks. So it's 7.23 in the morning. I'm starting to get contractions a little bit. Um, they're starting to feel a little painful. They haven't checked me yet. They said that they would give me um, some medication to get my contractions going because they don't want me, since my water broke, there's risk of infection. So we're just waiting for them to come back in and check me again. And they'll probably start that medication. Christian's currently taking a nap over there. I haven't been able to sleep. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna sleep until after the baby, but we'll see what time the baby's born. Uh, now what are you doing, Mom? I'm sitting on the ball to get my contractions going. <laughs> as soon as I sat down, I started feeling one. A contraction? Mm-hmm. Oh, I... Missy, do your hula hoops like the doctor showed you. I'm just going to rock back and forth, which feels better than... Doing hula hoops? They brought me some snacks because I haven't ate anything and I was starving. They have me walking the hallways to have me dilate and start my contractions before they start medication. <laughs> <laughs> this is the front of the hospital. And then I'm pushing my monitor around. <laughs> My baby. 
my spilly shot. Christian was hungry, so he went and got a breakfast burrito. It's either a smothered burrito or a sandwich. Yeah, and I get freaking crackers with peanut butter. So it's currently, what is it, 1020? 1026. 1026 right now, and they are about to start me on Pitocin to get my contractions going so we can have a baby. starting to be two minutes apart yeah they're starting to get stronger but they haven't checked me if i've dilated at all whatsoever since 5 30 this morning so i don't know what time they're gonna check but there's the monitor hopefully we have a baby this afternoon mm -hmm. we'll see what we'll see if they come back in and check for dilation in a little bit it is 2.16. Yeah, so um, I just got the epidural like 10 minutes ago yeah, and I, I feel so oh, much yeah, better. Yeah, I was literally like, crying my eyes out. Same. This pain yeah. was way worse yeah, than like, with oh, on ice. Okay. So I'm going to try to take a nap yeah. now. Christian wanted to cry when they were giving me the epidural. Because we didn't have to do that the first time. Yeah. Nice. I was crying. It hurts so bad. I don't remember that pain being bad with Anais. It wasn't that bad. I was like, mm mm, I need this right now. <laughs> but Hopefully, we'll have a baby soon. Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Big deep breath, let's have a baby. <gasps> and one, two, three. I can't four, see baby like that. Five, that's like, that's like good. six, good. seven, eight, eight just like that. nine, ten. <laughs>
It's the next day, you guys. We're enjoying some precious time with our new baby boy. We're so excited to have him. We're waiting to see if they'll discharge us. Um, they still have to do the 24-hour screenings on him. And then they'll let us know if we can go home. When my water broke last night, or yesterday morning actually, I literally did not have my our bags ready. So we just threw stuff in there. And then I realized I didn't even have any shampoo or conditioner. So I literally took a shower with baby shampoo this morning because I didn't bring any shampoo, but it's fine. It worked out and we can't wait for Anais to meet her baby brother. She's gonna be so excited. It was honestly worth the wait um, to find out the baby's gender. It was such a precious moment. And we're all so the doctors are in there happy telling us yeah because everybody's like oh boy a girl and we're like it's a surprise and they're like oh my gosh yay we love surprises we don't get those very often so all the doctors came in just to tell us that <laughs> <laughs> they were all super excited to find out with us mm -hmm. such a calm baby too yeah he's quiet doesn't cry mm -hmm. watch the second we go home he's gonna be Gion? screaming his eyes out oh, yes. Mm. Too loud. I'm having some lunch right now and we're just waiting for 24 hours so they can come in do the screening and discharge us because I want to go home I miss Anaisa <laughs> and she's super super anxious to meet her baby brother time to go home let's go home and miss meet big sister look how tiny he is <laughs> <laughs> okay we just got home I'm sure Anais is so 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 anxious huh Mm-hmm. Should I give him a hunk? No. You ready to see big sissy? Let's meet her. That's your baby, honey. His name's Anthony? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You wearing your big sister shirt? Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Are you excited that your baby's home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did he fall asleep in the car? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He was crying before we left the hospital. <laughs> So you guys saw Anais's reaction to her baby brother. She's so excited. She's sleeping right now. She's in love. She held her baby brother and then she asked her daddy if she could sing him a song, made Christian ball his eyes out. He's uh he wasn't He's supposed to be born until August sixteenth. Yeah, so right now I told Christian, I'm like, go get the envelope that has the baby's gender. I'm like, let's see if they got it right. So this is so you guys remember this envelope, <laughs> baby's gender. It's still sealed, it hasn't been open. Baby's gender was literally a surprise for us. So we're gonna check and see if they got it right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, because it's a boy, like they show you right away. Oh, <gasps> it does say it's boy. A boy. Look. Let me see. I'm a boy. Aww. We're going to end out our video because it's getting kind of like lengthy. But um, we just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has shown us the love and support mm -hmm. um, with our new baby boy. We're so excited. Yeah. Anais is so excited. She's sleeping. And I should probably <laughs> get to bed because I have not. I've probably slept like four hours since yesterday. We're tired. <laughs> But um, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will be back with more videos. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>